Welcome to this lecture. The couple of lectures from here now will be interesting because we'll learn how to make advanced payload with the help of JavaScript in couple of lectures. So here is the test website. So you'll just get this test website from the description or from the resource section. So make sure you grab that. So let me just click for the challenges. So you can see it is saying into your name here. So let me say something like uh, the Sachin, which is my name. So let me just search. So you could see Sachin has been reflected right here. So let's see the source. So you can simply press Control U to see the source. So let's search for Sachin because we have just put the Sachin over here. So let's see where the Sachin is reflected. So you could see it has been reflected just over here. So there is nowhere except here that this has reflected so what you need to do now is first of all you have to make a payload in a such way that you have to inject your javascript code so let's go here and inject some of the code so you could also see over here that this field has been injected in this name so let's try our simple payload and let's see how this works so this is a challenge one so let me just make a simple script and it will say alert and document dot url so it is basically fetching the url and let me just close my script so let me just grab all of these script and let's see if that parameter is vulnerable or not because you could see the name has been reflected right here that means there must be xss vulnerabilities in this field so okay so let me just grab this one let me paste it right here and let me just hit enter then it will say good work you are welcome to the next round so you can also put a same as here that we just did in case of such and you can also put the same that is payload what we just created right here over here so let me just paste it down here and search so you are also getting the same good work dialog box over here so let's see for the challenge too so let's put something over here so that will be reflected so i'll just put again the search in the same search in and it is saying that it cannot find the query so that means it has not been reflected so let's see if this name field is also vulnerable or not so let me paste the same url that we just created that is document.url let me just hit enter and it is not getting the basically what we say the matches or the dialog box that means this link or basically this script has not been executed so let's put again the search in that is same text let's search the search in and let's see where this has been reflected let me press ctrl u for your source code and let me search now for search in and it has been reflected you could see it has been just injected in this value of such in so let me just grab whole of this from here that is from input tag let me copy this go back to my sublime and this is your challenge too let me just paste it down here so you could see anything you type is injected in this value so first of all if you want to just inject some of the javascript code you have to first close your input tag because this is the html element so you cannot do something like injecting your script which is the javascript and giving the alert of one or anything and just uh, making the script close here so you can't do this because you are inside this input tag which is your html element so you cannot inject your script inside this html element so you have to first close this html element and you can inject your code so this part is invalid so you can't do this so now we have to just make our own payload in this case i have to first close the input tag so you could see in order to close the input tag you can simply give this close angle angle bracket and after that you can just run your script which can be the same over here so let me just grab this whole of this link and this is basically just fetching or just 
giving the script so this is our payload for challenge 2 so let me just copy this go back to the practice lab let me just paste it and let's see if this works or not let me search and it is also saying good work you are welcome to the next round because this payload has been worked so let's see for the challenge 3 I'll just say hello okay hello and let me hit search so same as before it has not been reflected let's see for this parameter name and let's inject your code that is script and let me hit enter and again it has not been reflected so again let me just go back to Sajin and let's search this one control u to see the page source control f and source for such in a way it has been reflected so it has been reflected in this value field so same as before we have to just make our own payload again so let me just copy this and go to sublime so this is your challenge 3 so what we get here is this field so if you see here we have already said before that you have to first close the HTML elements in order to inject your script so here it can't be something like this so in before so we had this payload let me just copy this and let me just paste it right down here so if you just do this one it won't be valid because you have to also close this value field because anything you put here as a script will be executed right here so what if I just make use of a script instead of the such thing so what if I just put here a script and alert and something like one and close my script so if you just do that it will be injected in the value field so in order to just make a script outside of this input tag you have to first close this value with this double quote with this double quote or basically a single double quote here and after that you have to close your input tag like this so these two part will close our input tag first value field or attribute and after that it will close your input tag after that you can just make use of your script and anything after that script won't be executed and we don't care about this we only care about our script so anything beyond that we need not to close or we need not to do anything so this is our new payload so let's grab this let me just copy go back and let's see if this works or not so let me just paste real quick over here let it search and it is saying good work welcome to the next round so we're in the challenge 4 so I'll just pass my name let me just hit search as usual it is not showing any reflection in the page so let me just say control u and you could see it has been injected in this value field again so we have to make our own payload from here let me copy this and this is your challenge number four let me just sit here so we have to make our own payload as before so first of all you have to inject your script so any script will be injected in this value field you can see we have just type searching in that field and it has been injected in this value that means first we have to close your value tag so closing will be only single quote over here because here we had the double quote but in this case value has only the single code so first of all we'll just close our value field close our input field and open our script so it would be a script and I'll just put alert document dot URL after that I'll just close my script and anything after that we just really don't care we just want to execute our script so we'll just make this payload let me copy this go back here let me paste real quick here let me see source again it is saying good work now let's see for the challenge 5 and let's see what they have got so I'll just say hey let me search and wait for a moment it is not loading let me refresh again okay let me say hey 
and as usual it is not reflected control u control f and i'll search for hey and let's see it has been reflected right here in the source string so you could see we have little bit change here so we are now inside this script and it is reflected in the variable of the javascript so that is strange so first of all i'll just take everything over here so i'll just copy this okay let me copy go back in this must be challenge 5 let me paste so this is our the field where our hey has been reflected that means our script will also be reflected in this variable of the javascript so now what our payload must be let's think about that so over here what we have is we have something like this so first of all we have to now close our script because we want this script to be closed over here so in here we want to close that script and after we close we'll just run our script so let's see how this work so i'll just go right here and i'll first close my script it should be script and after i close my script i will again execute my new script with the alert document dot url and after that i'll just execute the closing tag of the script let's see if this works so if you are confused over here so first we just did was we just put our script to be closed right here so we'll execute our closing script that means this part of script will be executed and after that we'll just give simple alert to the window so let's see how what this will do so let me just paste it down let's search and the same that is result good work let's see for the challenge six so let's uh, put something else here let me just say cricket let me search so as usual cricket has not been reflected if you inject something over here in the name also the script it won't be reflected we have to simply press ctrl u and now i'll just find cricket because i have just searched for it so this has been reflected again in the variable of the script so now what you can do is simply grab this script so i'll just grab this copy go over here this is the interesting challenge number six so let's see what this payload will be so you could see we have the variable created over here so first of all i'll just close my cricket or basically the script and after that you can just close your script that means uh, this part will be now let me just copy so instead of cricket i have to just put now this two so that means the empty variable has been created first after that i'll just run my script so first of all i'll just close this script because i will have to just close this part it should be a script and now i'll execute my own script so it should be a script and here i'll just say alert and it will have document dot url and this is our new payload so you could see what we just did over here was we just made a empty variable with this quotation and the semicolon after that we just execute our basically this payload from here but before that we have to close this script tag also because script tag can't have two script tag because if you work with the opening script tag it must be closed so we have closed the script tag and we have executed our own script tag so you can also do something like first close directly the script tag like we have just did here but this is the better way so let me just copy this go back here let's see if this works or not so let me paste it and it will say good work again the same dialog box let's go for challenge 7 so i'll just pass here football let me search as usual it won't be reflected let's search for football where it has been reflected 
so it has been reflected in this value field so let's see how we can just create so that it will be executed right over here so you could see that it has been reflected in the football field now you could simply see that our value has been as a football so let's see how this works that is our script so let me just put here document.url let me just press search let me see control u to see the page source and you could see that anything you just typed he over here has been converted into the string so that is strange so what we have done here was we just gave the simple input in that field simply here which was a script but it has been converted to the string so if i just give the simple alert i'm just making a simple payload over here which is of script alert one and script let me search it again let me just press ctrl u to see the page source again that script has been converted into the string in this value field so anything you just passed in that field has been converted into the string by this space so if that is the case so we have just taken the example where you can just give the input from the keyboard so you could just see here we just pass anything from the keyboard has been converted into the string so if that is the case then you can just give the input from the mouse and we have learned about the event in the javascript as in the previous lecture if you remember we have learned about on mouse over on mouse out on key down and every event that is related to the mouse and a keyboard so in this case anything you just type from the keyboard has been converted into the string but if you just try for the mouse the event that can be given by the mouse then it will be visible over here outside this value so let's try on that so we have to make our advanced payload here with the some event so this is the challenge 7 and in this case what happened is we gave input from keyboard to the field and that input that input has been converted to string by browser or by the server so if this is the case then you can give the input from the mouse so let's see how we can just do that so i'll just give the input from the mouse now so first of all you have to just if you see and if you just go back to the page source then you could see that we have the closing field right here so that means we have to give first the single quote and after that we'll just make some event so in my case i'll just make something like on mouse over you can also make use of on mouse out and uh, you can just give this equal in order to just assign some value to it and after that i want to execute some of the messages so that should be document dot url so this is your final payload so you can just execute this payload now let's see if this works or not so i'll just go right here and let's see if this works or not let's copy this to this field let me just paste it here let me just source so what we just did here was we make use of on mouse over so how that works whenever we just move this mouse to that source button it will just inject our javascript code let's see if this works or not so if i just hover this mouse to that source okay this is okay this is working again because it was on mouse over that means whenever we just make changes from this to another if we just make hover to the source and again go back to let me go back to challenge 7 again and if i just go to the source and go out of that source then it will be executed let's uh, get that same payload again let me just copy this let me just paste it down here so you could see that it is saying good work because that code has been injected so you can see that when you just reflect that 
to that page and when you just give the mouse hover beyond that button then you could see that page will be injected so let me just go to the challenge 8 real quick so it is the same as the challenge 7 so let's see if this works or not in the same manner so i'll just click it again let me search let me press ctrl u to see the search and basically it is also the same challenge because the cricket has been injected here so let's see for the script so i'll just make a simple script and i'll say alert one and if i just search this let me just press ctrl u to see the page source so now you could see it has been injected as a script again but in this case it has been encoded so you could see that in this case it has been encoded into something that is less than a real t gt so here real t is basically encoded for the opening angular bracket so something like this let me show you so this closing bracket has been encoded as alt and this has been encoded as gt so greater than and less than has been it it has been encoded and it has been converted into the string that means our script has not been executed so if you see that input from the keyboard has been converted into something that is encoded form or something into the string form like in the challenge 7 we can make use of the mouse event so in this challenge 8 2 you can make use of the mouse event so here we can make use of the mouse so you can see it has been reflected right here so i'll just make me use of on mouse over payload or the event so you can also make use of on mouse out and now we can just give alert messages saying document dot url so this will be your final payload and let me just grab this copy this from here let me go to this challenge let me paste okay okay so what we need to do is simply paste it here so i'll just say search so same as before we have to now hover our mouse to the search button and when i just make that mouse to go out of that search button our payload will be executed so let's see so i'm on the search so let me make my mouse out of this search okay this is not executing and if you guess what we just did over here so let me just press ctrl u to show you what is going over here so again this field has been encoded so you can see it has been encoded as quote so we just parts here the double quote in it has been encoded as this at the rate or basically and and quote and you can see on mouse over right here so it has been encoded that means this field is not vulnerable so we cannot do anything to execute our payload in this field but this is the challenge and there must be a way to inject this payload so let's see anything we just passed over here so you can see this payload which was on mouse over has been injected into this name field so let me just grab this link and let me just go here and if i just paste down here let me just go here and let me paste it so you could see we have the two field over here one with the name parameter and another has submit so you could see that anything that starts with the question mark is a field so we have a name field and we have name field and it has injected our code so anything you just passed over in this field is inserted into the name but this name is not vulnerable but we have submit too we have not checked this submit let's see for this submit now let's go and let me just pass here something like football again and let's see if this works or not so if i just pass football so let's see what it has done here so if you just pass football it has reflected in this button so what we just talked about the excesses was if anything that we passed in the url is reflected in the web page there is a probable chance of the excesses attack so you could see we just passed this football to this submit field and it has been reflected to the button 
that means it has been reflected to the web page that means this field or this submit parameter is vulnerable but this parameter or basically name parameter is not vulnerable that has the encoding format over here so anything you pass is encoded with here that is in the case of the name parameter but we can see that submit has shown the reflected accesses right in the button so let's see if this works or not so let me just inject the same payload with that we just made over here which was this on mouse over so let me just copy this and instead of football let me just paste this on mouse over now so let me just hit enter so you could see we have just got the button that is going lesser so let me just pass put here so you could see it is saying good work you are welcome to the next round so we have just made the submit button to inject or to execute our payload which was on mouse over payload so what this payload does is pretty much it will just get executed the url basically what we have the payload over here when the mouse is hover to that button so when i just go here it has been reflected so we have just completed all of the chapters of this challenge so we have just made some of the advanced and simple payload in these lectures so first of all we could see that we have to make our script like this outside of the html tag so first of all we have to just close the html tag and make our payload to be executables and it can be something like this we have to make sure that we have just close our value field and any field of the attributes of the html tag and after do that we have to also close our input tag or any html tag so if it was something like anchor tag we have to also close this anchor tag first and we have to inject or basically we have to make our payload over here so you could see same goes over here we just first close the value field and after we just complete with the uh, closing of input tag and we just execute the payload and next one was we just execute this script closing script first and we just executed our script over here and same goes for this uh, payload too and one was the important field over here so when we just gave the input from the keyboard and if it was converted to the string that means that field is not vulnerable from the keyboard input so we have to just give the input from the mouse so we just made this payload which is based on the mouse event and we just made this payload to be executable when we hover over the mouse button and after that we just made the same for this payload by checking for the another field like this submit field so this on mouse over in this name field was not vulnerable because it has encoded our payload in the form that it won't be executed by the browser but the second parameter has executed our payload which was our mouse event payload so we have completed all of these challenges in this lecture so see you in the next one